the game. It's a red skin. Hey everybody, welcome back to Keys Playing Life. I am Key and this is my life. Okay guys, so we are... Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. For those who are new to my channel, I am Key. This is Keys Playing Life. Um, today we're going to be talking about our second paycheck in December. We're going to talk about what I did with it um, and things like that. This video is going to be a really short video just because there really wasn't much to do with this check this month i mean this pay period we do have three checks in december i already um did the first paycheck so if you can check that video out in our finance plan uh playlist but our second week our second bi-weekly paycheck for december will be over here don't mind these boxes these <laughs> i have to do a haul so um for our second bi-weekly paycheck for December, our paycheck all together, and when I say our paycheck, that's the money me and my husband put in um, on our bills. This is what we put in together each month on our bills. So, um, what he puts in his savings is what he puts in his savings. What he puts in, what I put in my savings is what I put in my savings. But this is what it all boils down to. So the paycheck for the second paycheck for December equaled up to one thousand five hundred and thirty-seven dollars. If you see me looking over here, I'm looking at my laptop because those are where my notes are. The expenses were one thousand three hundred and seventy dollars for the second paycheck. And we're gonna get into why that was so much. Um, because I know that I know you're probably like, why was it so much? Um, what was left over, left over was $167. And we'll talk about where I put that $167 in this video. So as you can see, after pay, I paid $140. Um, myself, I only paid myself $150. Um, rainy day. We put $300 in our rainy day fund, and I'm happy to say we are at the, um, we are up above the $1,000 mark on rainy day. So now we've completed baby step one. Now we're on to baby step two, but also in the process of completing baby, two, baby step two, which is getting out of debt, we're also um, still contributing to our rainy day fund. Um, that money automatically gets taken out, and sometimes we add a little extra to it. Um, but we, our goal is now that we've saved that thousand dollars, we're trying to make sure that we have at least three to six months worth of savings in our, um, rainy day slash emergency fund. So we're in the process of clearing our debt and securing our rainy day fund. Um, personal savings, I put in $116 altogether. Household for household items and stuff was $50.00. Christmas was $25 and it's not for this Christmas because this Christmas we've already done everything that we need to do It is this money is actually being allocated for next Christmas. I do have a Christmas savings um, Set up for next Christmas trying to stay ahead of the game trying to stay above um, Car insurance car insurance was 270 that is our normal car insurance every month um, groceries um, was 121 um, it wasn't, we didn't put that much back for groceries because we still have a refrigerator, a pantry, a deep freezer full of food. So we're like, we really don't need anything. So we put 121 up. Uh, a semia, as you can see, it says final payment, um, for my furniture. I made my final payment of 398 on the furniture yesterday. So we do not know, owe them anything else. We are done paying on our furniture. So that is one thing that I'm so happy to scratch off our list. Um, I did open a spending account and that spending account will have the groceries in there as well as the household stuff in there and our eating out fund in there. I'm still going to keep track of the money that I put in there, but um, for each thing, but that's where all that money is going if we need stuff. Um, so yeah, like I said, it was easy. Oh, what I did with the leftover 167, what I did with the leftover 167 was put that in my personal savings account. Now you're probably like, why you didn't just put it in your, um, um, 
<laughs> why I didn't just put it in my rainy day just because um, after me thinking long and hard that's where I wanted to put it so that's where I put it um, the as you can see the expenses will um, when that is paid off so that's a great thing um, I pay myself and when I pay myself I put it in my personal spending account um, I have a personal savings account a personal spending account personal um spending account and then i have the spending account there that, that's for the household as far as like i see groceries household supplies um a little things like that so that money goes in there but for the most part i think we're doing really good the fact that we saved three hundred dollars as of right now i am looking to see exactly i'm going to be going in at the end of the month and closing out our budget because we have one more paycheck and that's on the 29th. I will be going in because I want to see exactly how much we saved all together in each account this month. Each savings account this month. The Christmas savings is just $25 simply because um, for us it's not really about the gift giving. We just like the, the feeling of the holiday. So it's a more so decorating than buying gifts just because we always look at things like we buy gifts for each other year round so buying them or getting these big ticket items once a year doesn't make any sense because we do that for each other throughout the year so yeah that is my second week paycheck bi-weekly paycheck for december um i think we utilized this paycheck pretty good there wasn't much stuff that needed to be done I'm glad that I got the big things taken care of so I can kind of kick my feet up and breathe, have a little breathing room. Um, that once, oh, and that's another thing. The 167 went to my personal savings also because as you guys know, I am saving for a cash car. So that money will be utilized for my cash car because we have decided that we will not be doing two notes in this household. I'm just not. Hubby has a car note. I don't want one because I have this thing in my head that what if something happens where one of us can't work? These bills are still going to have to be paid for. And trying to take care of two car notes, car insurance, rent, lights, gas, groceries, things that's needed for the house, that can be a lot on one person. So I don't want to add that stress on either me or him. So that's why we're only doing one car, car note in this house right now because it just makes financial sense. And being able to find a dependable cash car is not hard at all. You just have to take your time, do your research, and and invest in your transportation. So, I'm going to get out of here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember to think smart, spend smarter, and have fun planning it all out. I am Key. This is Key's Plan Life. And I will see you guys in the next bi-weekly paycheck video. Bye.